Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of An Idiot on Board. In my last few episodes, you've seen uh, I've done something a little bit different. I've been doing some wild camping in some hammocks, which has been fantastic. Um, and, and, you know, and after the uh, Trans-European Trail Trip, well, Trans-Euro Trail Trip that I did uh, on Matthew's Himalayan, which was absolutely awesome, um, and I hope you've seen that link in the description below, if not. Um, yeah, Custard and Teddy the C90 haven't been around for a while. So today, I'm going to kick myself in the bum. I mean, it's middle of October now, we're coming into the winter, but I'm going to kick myself in the bum. We're going to have a look at Teddy, we're going to have a look at Custard, and we're going to try and see what's wrong with them and see if we can get them fixed. So if you're interested in Teddy the C90, if you're interested in Custard, the F650 from Joro, follow along and yeah, come see what we can do. First of all, then we'll have a look at custard. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> we'll have a look at custard first. Um, the last issue that I had with custard was he kept blowing main fuses. Um, and if you remember from the last episode, I'd swapped and moved the regulator around. Um, then I was test riding him before. The tra tra yeah, I can't get the words out today. Before the Trans Euro Trail trip, and he just kept blowing main fuses. So. I switched the regulator back to the original one just to see if it was something to do with the regulator and, and he kept doing it so I've got no idea what was wrong. So plan for today is then is to put in a new fuse um, uh, and then go for a test ride and have a look and, and see what happens with him. But what I was finding last time was that the fuses kept blowing when he was under load, i.e. they were fine until I put all my gear on him for the trail. Um, and, and it's important to me actually that I get custard working again because I'm actually planning a trip in November of all times to the Outer Hebrides. So I'm hoping that I can go on custard. I really, really want to go on custard, but it's going to be a 1500 mile trip in two or three days. Um, and I'm going to go on wild camp. So I'm literally just going to go up to the Outer Hebrides for one night and I'm going to wild camp for a night um, to ho hopefully do some like wild cooking and what have you and then come back. I mean, I've got Katniss the Pan America, so I could do it on, on the Pan America uh, quite easily, but ideally I want to try and do it, if I can, on Custard. Um, purely because Custard's a little bit more of a challenge, so being a 1997 F650, um, Custard has got no, no fuel gauge, so fuel is one of those sort of guess how much you've got left. Um, my mileage counter doesn't work, so I've got no idea how far I'm going in between each fuel tank and that. So it's kind of like, it's a little bit exciting. There's just like a little bit more to it. So hopefully, I'm going to get custard running and I'm going to take custard to the Outer Hebrides. But failing that, I'm going to get Katniss out. I'm going to take Katniss to the Hebrides. Um, so yeah, custard hasn't been started since... Well, so it'd be since when we did the Trans European Trans Euro Trail trip, which was what August time, something like that. So I'm not holding out much hope that the battery's charged and all the rest of it, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, let's put in a new fuse and let's see what happens. There's my new fuse. There's all my blown ones from the last time. Last time I was out on him. Um. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Right, okay. Give us some magic. We have life. Uh, God, it's been a while. Fuel. Oh yeah, last time we had a fuel leak as well, so we'll see what happens there. Put on some choke. Power. Turn off the lights. Absolutely nothing. What's happened there then? So he's... Has he blown already? Oops, sorry. No. Okay, that's weird. I lost... I lost my lights and stuff all of a sudden, so something's gone awry. Okay, so I've just accidentally discovered something weird. If I turn 
my lights off. Ooh, can't see. There we go. The uh, neutral light goes out. And as we all know, without neutral light, it won't start. Now, if I flick my lights on, see that? Neutral light's now on. And let's see. putting them on reserve fuel that might be it I'm surprised he's turning over like genuinely I've not used him for since August like I say so let's try again right um he's turning over he wants to go yeah I'll see if I can get him running and I'll come back to you F650 Fujoro! <laughs> Genuinely not been started since August. He got, I got pissed off with him before that trip. I dumped him in the garage. I'd, hand on heart, I swear on my little boy's life, I have not charged the battery. I've done nothing with him. All I've done just then was put a new fuse in put a couple of litres of fuel in him <laughs> and off he goes now if that was the case with my Pan America with Katniss battery would be absolutely dead. If I don't use her weekly, the battery dies and that's the end of it. <laughs> right. Right, now we've got to have a look then. I've got to fettle with him a little bit, see if I can figure out why he's blown those fuses. It's, it's an absolute mystery, but yeah, got to figure that one out. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave him running for a little bit, get him warmed up, uh, and we will go and have a look at Teddy. Alrighty, the issues that I was having with Teddy then was basically um, I, I couldn't get him to idle. So I tried, I got, I got him running, it was absolutely fine. Um, couldn't get him to idle. So I cleaned out the carb several times, cleaned out all the jets, made sure they were clear, which they were. And again, still wouldn't idle. Um, he'd idle for a little bit and then he'd stop. Um, eventually I put a new carb on him, put a new carburetor on him and that just did the exact same thing. Ran for a while and then, and then it would cut out and stop and then just would not idle. So doing a little bit of research, what I reckon is the, the tank's old and it's quite rusty. So there's a fair bit of, um, you know, like, like rust particles and tanning and whatnot in there. Now, even though I've got a filter on, I think that perhaps uh, micro particles of tanning from the rust or, or the tank or what have you is getting through the filter and is eventually clogging up the pilot jet. So the plan for today then is to take some cheap, nasty cola, put it in the tank, Fill it up, switch it round, and then leave it for a bit and see what happens. So, from doing a fair bit of research online and that, there's lots and lots of different ways of cleaning this. There's like, people said you can put white vinegar and baking soda in there, you can put coke in there, you can do all sorts of kind of different things. I'm just gonna go with the coke method because it's cheap. I think they were 70p a piece, like one pound 40 or whatever, quick maths. I'm gonna put it in there, leave it for a few days and see what happens. If that doesn't work then I'll go on something a little bit more drastic but you know I'm gonna see if that, that that will do something at least the other thing I'm gonna do uh, possibly not today but I will do is I'm gonna clean the carbs out again I'm gonna make sure they're completely clean and then I'm just gonna run a, a fuel line from um, a clean vessel so like one of my jerry cans or something like that down to the bike and we'll see if it'll tick over and run that way if it works like that then I know that it's probably the tank and the tanning in the tank if that doesn't work, then I know it's possibly something else. Um, spark plugs been changed, all that kind of stuff, so it could be something to do with the engine itself, whether it be the valves or, or what have you. Like I said, with Teddy with the C90, I'm learning, I know nothing about them. 
it's just a bike that I've always wanted and I, and I got an opportunity to buy one a while ago so yeah we'll, we'll crack on with it and we'll see what happens then and custard stopped ticking over for some reason <laughs> I've just praised him and then he stopped um, so yeah we'll get on with that next then here we go then this is going to be really awkward one handed Oh, oh, my bottle's collapsing. <laughs> well, let's get that filled up. I mean, we're going to have to leave it for a few days and see what happens. I've seen stuff online, you know, going from anywhere from like two days to four days, etc. So I'll get it filled up and just leave it and see what happens, really. Hopefully it works. But I have bought the cheap stuff, so... It might not do anything. <laughs> Who'd have thought putting cola in your tank would be a great idea? <laughs> right, one bottle down, one to go. Let's get it filled up and then we'll just leave it and we'll see what happens. Moment of truth then, folks. I'm about to empty out the tank. There it is. Um, get all the coke out of it and see what difference it's made. In all fairness, I meant to only leave it sort of two, three days or so, but I've actually ended up leaving it like a week. <laughs> I just forgot about it being busy. So, let's get this done. Don't know how well camera's gonna pick that up, but can you see all the specs look? That is all rust. Bits of rust and bits of crap. So it actually looks like it has worked. Um, it's hard to see inside the tank, obviously, because it's dark and I haven't got a torch at the minute, but. From what I can see, it looks like it has made a difference. So I think I'm going to go again. I'm going to buy some more Coke. I'm going to chuck it in there. The same thing again. And leave it again. And, and see if that just now it's cleared the bulk off it off. See if I can get some more off. Yeah. Right. I'm going to leave it there for now, to be fair. Because uh, I'm going to have to put that in there for another week. So I'm going to leave it again for, for another week or so. Or another four days or whatever. Uh, and then come back to it later on. In the meantime, I'll get the car cleaned out again and we'll see if we can get Teddy fired up and running. As always, folks, thank you ever so much for sticking with us. The restoration of Teddy and the fixing of Custard, Custard's got, uh, has definitely still got a coolant leak, so I need to get that sorted before I can get a re and get him back on the road. Uh, but it's just a drawn out process and we are getting there. So thank you ever so much for coming along. Like I say, if you haven't done already, like, share, comment, really appreciate it. And if you would, subscribe as well because it's free. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, but it will help me grow and it will help this little channel grow. And in time, in the future, I'll be able to help other people experience their own adventure as well. Thanks so much, folks. See you next time. Ta-ra.